Hi guys, the new Big Zen UV Update 3.0 is here. No more words, I can't wait to show you all the new features. It has been always a problem to unwrap organic models in Blender, and I'll show you why. Let's copy this. Island, UV, unwrap, conformal method. And we can see that here we have big squares, small squares, so not even at all. OK, let's copy it one more time. Again, unwrap and choose another method, angle based. And everything looks a bit better right now because we have even squares. But we have another problem on the UVs because we have overlapping parts. And I would like to show you our new method that is called ZenRelax to avoid all these problems. New algorithm. You need to select islands and click relax. And here we have ZenRelax method. And let's have a look at the result. Again, we have like even squares everywhere. And we don't have any overlapping parts. And this method will be perfect for making organic UVs in Blender. If you have some errors with your mesh, you receive special notification for the relax operator. You can see them in the console. But if you want to find these places on the model, you can install the sets add-on and enable this checkbox. And click relax one more time. And then you can go to the sets and you will see this specific place with a problem. For the checker map, we added new textures that are showing direction. You just need to click O, Orient Texture, and if you are using Material Preview mode, you can change Tiling. And you can see that now everything is OK, but the direction of islands are different. To fix this problem, you can use new World Orient operator. Let's select all the islands and click World Orient. Here we have a couple of methods, Hard Surface and Organic, and checkbox for the Orient for receiving more precise results. Don't forget to disable checkbox Rotate Islands when you pack islands to save orientation. Let's have a look how it works with organic models. World Orient, Method, Organic. And here we have the result. We improved Quadrify Island Operator and now you can not only average texel density, but also you can orient it vertically or horizontally. Let's unwrap this sphere using new reshape islands operator. Select these loops, reshape islands, preset selected, change X, change position, and adjust vertices a bit so we can see that selected vertices will aligned, all other relaxed. Let's do it one more time. Reshape island, this time U direction. Click zero. Everything is OK, but the distance between vertices is a bit different. So again, reshape island, V direction, position as it is. And one more step, select this border vertices and distribute them. Now we can select the whole island and click fail islands. And the last preset for the reshape island operator is borders. For it, we need to select inner corners and pin them. P. And then we can reshape island, click borders. And here we can select pinned and corners. And now we can see that all lines between all the corners are aligned. For the scale tool, we added value tuner. Here you can quickly change values. Double them. For example, half 
one of the axes. Half it one more time. And reset all of them. You may notice that we added one more mode that is called units. Let's check it. Here we have UV size 1000 and desired size of our element after scaling 250. Let's scale it. Change this value to 500. And scale it one more time. One more cool operator is called fit into region where you can grab region from island and then fit other islands right into that region. Or you can grab it from selection. Now when you rename UV maps you can specify template name. For example, here we have UV channel. But we can choose another one, for example, map. We added copy-paste operator to transfer coordinates between UV maps. On the first UV map we can see head and body. On the second we can see one island for the whole model. We can transfer head, copy, and paste it into second UV map. Every time when you create UV map, now you can choose unwrap mode. For example, it's default one. Here is cylinder, cube, smart, and sphere. In the mark settings, you can find new checkbox use global settings. If it's enabled, all the settings for marking seams and sharp edges will be used for all the operators. If you disable it, all the settings will be separate for every operator. For example, mark by angle. We can mark just sharp edges or just seams. Let's mark all of them. And unmark all. And now we can choose what to unmark seams or sharp edges. The same for mark and unmark. Now when you use seams by UV body operator, you can choose what to do with existing seams. For example, right now I don't need them at all. And we can click unmark seams and sharp. Previously we had only sharp edges by seams operator and it was useless if you don't have any seams. But now we added sharp by UV borders and now you can mark sharp edges by UV borders. For select panel we added select UV borders operator for selecting UV borders edges. Also don't forget about this intersect loop operator. What it can do, it can select loops, but all these loops will be limited by existing seams. Super useful for organic models. We added stack offset option to stack islands to another square that can be super useful for a baking. Sometimes you just need simply stack some islands and to do it we added simple mode. Choose simple mode and click stack. Here we can choose different positions. To the cursor, custom, UV area center and average. Copy paste operator now is working between UV maps. Copy position from one UV map, create completely new UV map and Paste result to selected islands. Don't forget that you can copy not only UV islands but also faces. Copy faces, select another part, paste faces, and we can enable stack offset. You know that you can use Shift T or this button to open and close UV editor. Also, you can Ctrl Shift click on this icon to open its properties. Also, now it can remember pivot settings.
Then modifier key allows you to put another button if alt button doesn't work due to navigation settings. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.